Selective Vectorscope is a new color grading tool included in Pinnacle Studio 23. It can help you analyze the colors in your clip, or assist you in getting skin tones to look realistic and correct, or accurately match a clip's colors to another clip for continuity. You can access the Vectorscope by selecting a clip on the timeline, then go to Properties, and then the Color tab, Show Video Scope, and then select Vector Color. A vectorscope shows information about the current frame's color, which in this case is an image of color bars, with both the color hue and the saturation of each hue, with 100% saturation shown at the center of each of the small targets for red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow. Looking at another clip, if we increase the saturation, we can see the hues in our clip increasing towards these target points. If you manage to boost any of the colors beyond these 100% saturation limits, you are likely to have inaccurate colors once you export. The Vectorscope in Pinnacle Studio is selective, which means you can use the selection brush to limit the Vectorscope to an area of color that you select in your clip. This is really useful for checking skin tone accuracy. All skin types should fall along this line between red and yellow if you want them to look realistic. So for our current clip, we can just draw some areas of the two subject skin. and we can see that the clip is slightly too much towards the blue and magenta side of the spectrum. We can then just move the temperature towards yellow, and maybe the tint towards green a little to even up. As you can see, the skin is now on the skin tone line, but the saturation has increased a bit, so we can dial down the saturation to compensate. The skin tone line is the same for all skin colors, as we can see in the next two clips. If we select the skin of both subjects in this clip, we can see that again we're slightly towards red. You can also see their white shirts are ever so slightly pink. So in this instance, we can white balance to the brightest parts of one of the shirts, which you can see has made the shirts whiter and also pulled the skin tones onto the skin tone line. And in this third clip, we can select the skin again. And this time, it's pretty spot on on the skin tone line already, so in this case, I would make no adjustments. Remember, of course, that sometimes you don't need or want skin tones to look accurate. For example, in this clip, the subject is lit by the warm light of the flares that she's holding. So in this case, you wouldn't want to try and get her skin to look accurate. So just judge when you need to use the Vectorscope on a case-by-case -case basis. Another application of the Vectorscope is to match the colors of consecutive clips to get a consistent look between shots that are of the same subjects. For example, in these two clips, the blue smoke effect is slightly more purple in the first clip and slightly more green in the second clip. So we can just paint a similar area on both clips. And we can see the color difference reflected in the vectorscope. The first clip is more towards magenta, and the second is more towards green. The problem is, if we adjust the tint of the second clip back towards magenta, it's going to alter the whole clip in the same way, so our subject's faces become pinker. And if we then add a portion of skin to our selection, you can see it's way off the skin tone color line. So let's reset this tint, and then I'll go to HSL tuning, and we can use the click and drag tool to alter the hue of just the blue smoke colors. And as we do, we can see the blues moving towards magenta, but the skin tones are staying where they are. Let's fix the skin tones here as well, as they are still too red. Now I don't need the skin tones anymore, so I can use the eraser to remove that part of my selection. The blues are still looking a little green in the second clip, so to match these two clips, I'll need to adjust the temperature and tint a little. So in this case, it's a fine balance between accurate skin tones and color matching the two clips. Now the blues seem to match as I flick between both clips, but the second clip is now a little more saturated in the blues than the first clip, so I can dial back the overall saturation of the clip, affecting all the colors. Or I can jump back into HSL and just dial back the saturation of the blues, whichever I think looks best or is best for the skin tones. So that's how to use the new selective vectorscope in Pinnacle Studio. Happy editing.